Can you claim rewards from past seasons? And what happens to rewards when a season rolls over? So we can see right now that there are just under four days left in the season of the Seraph. And if I look at my pass here, we see that I have a bunch of different rewards. Now, at the end of the season, these rewards do not go away. However, you cannot gain extra levels in the season pass to unlock rewards that you did not already unlock. So for example, if I had only gotten to level 41 here, so everything from 1 to 41, I would be able to go back and claim all of those resources, which I will show in a second, all of these different things. But everything above 41, so all of this stuff and all of these pages of rewards here, I would not be able to claim these because I didn't unlock them. So if you did not get to level 100 in the pass, then you will not have access to all of the rewards and you cannot level up a pass for a season at a later time. When the season ends, the ability to level up that pass ends. So we can see that I have a ton of rewards available here, but if I go to my inventory, I have a bunch of Ascendant Alloys and Ascendant Shards, and you know, I'm going to be able to purchase another Ascendant Alloy for 400 Legendary Shards at the beginning of next season. So I don't want to go through and claim these rewards because I'm then just going to be full on all of my resources, right? So instead, you can actually go through and claim rewards from previous seasons. So I will put the link in the description. I will also put it in a top comment of where you guys can go on the Bungie website to go through and claim rewards from previous seasons. But you have to go through and log in once you get here. So once you use the link, you'll have to select whatever your platform is and log in. Do not click off just yet though, because there are a couple of really important things to note. So if we look through here, we can see that I have, you know, different resources and ingrams from past seasons. Now up at the top, we'll see the previous season section here, which is automatically already selected, but then we can go through and click the current season as well. Now, when a new season rolls over, the previous season will go away. So you can see that I have 119 unclaimed rewards from the previous season. Now, I think some of this duplicates so you don't get exactly that many, but there are a lot of rewards from the previous season pass that I will miss out on if I do not claim them. So don't forget, if you're using this to kind of store different resources and engrams and stuff, do not forget to eventually go back before your current season ends and claim these rewards. So if I click in here, if we look on the right, like the middle of the screen, we can see that there is a drop down menu here for your different characters. Now, it is really important that you select the character that you want the engram on. So, for example, if you want to get all of your exotics on a specific character, then you need to select that character and then you go through and claim an exotic engram. Once you get in this screen here, you simply claim it. And that has been sent to the inventory. And I am on my Warlock here, so we just claimed that for my Titan. But I'm on my Warlock, and I don't have it, right? So it doesn't matter what character you are logged into in the game itself. The character that you want to claim the exotic for needs to be the one selected here. And you will have the exotic available for all of your characters. So if I go to the Hunter, I'm on the Warlock now. I was on the Titan previously. If I go to the Hunter, that Ingram is still available. So I want to claim the exotic Ingrams on my Warlock. So I would go there and I can go through and claim each individual level here if I want. Or I can scroll down and we see the unclaim rewards. So I can go through and claim for each character. But as we see here, I have 38 unclaim rewards on this character for a total of 119 for the season but it's counting all of these rewards three times because I technically could claim them on any of the three characters, but it does not count as claiming them on, you know, one for each character. So I have closer to like 30, 38 rewards as compared to it thinking that I have a total of 119. 
I can claim raid banners, ornaments, Eververse. I can claim, you know, different armor pieces, the high stat armor pieces, all of the different things that I didn't claim before. I can come back and claim them now. So I hope this video helped. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody.